In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can set up your YouTube channel for success. So let's go right into it. First, come to your preferred browser or go to your preferred browser on any device, your PC, your smartphone, then search for YouTube Studio. YouTube. YouTube Studio. So before doing this, if you have YouTube Studio app on your phone, please freeze it. Don't delete it because you'll be needing it along the line. So just freeze it so that you can easily set this up on your browser. It is best done on your browser. So once you are here, tap on this first interface right here, this first website right here. Then as soon as you tap on it, it's going to log you in or ask you to log in with your gmail which is the gmail you use to create your channel so it's going to bring you in straight and if it's logged you in to a channel which is not the one you want to currently customize then just come to your right hand side here zoom in your phone with your two hand come to the right hand side then you are going to see your profile picture look at mine right here this is one of my new channels so i'm going to tap on the profile picture and when you tap on the profile picture zoom out a little bit and you're going to see switch accounts so tap on switch accounts and you're going to see all the email where you have um where you've created a youtube channel so this is our animals vault that we just created right here take a look at it so i tapped on it and it brought me into the animals vault channel then i'm just going to tap on continue they welcome me to youtube studio the reason why you're not seeing this clearly is because my phone is on desktop mode so ensure you put your phone on desktop mode too so if you see my profile picture right here it says look at this this is my name right here then the next thing is as you can see here we have no views nothing nothing yet so i won't be talking much on all these tools right here we are just going to quickly set up our youtube channel so scroll down when you zoom it in scroll down and you are going to see a settings button at the down left hand side of your screen look at mine right here then i'm going to tap on it then after tapping on it i'm going to zoom out a little bit then first things first you will see general and on that general you're going to see default unit so leave it at usd don't touch anything youtube pays in dollars so leave it you can also, you can as well change it to something else but it's not advisable just leave it to um just leave it at usd so i'm going to go back and tap on my usd again now the next thing is channel so under this channel here you're going to select your country of residence and add your keywords then there's the advanced setting and there's future eligibility. So let's just get right into it. So my country of residence right now is Nigeria. So select your own country of residence. So I selected Nigeria, then keywords. I'm going to go back to my chat GPT. I'm going to tap on this plus sign right here on my browser. You should have done this already before you come into your YouTube studio to make the process smoother for you. So, but for the sake of this tutorial, that's why I'm doing this so that you will see the way I did everything and you can be able to follow it also. So I tap on plus, then I'll come over to my chat GPT dot com and i will go back to the chat I had with it on my anima channel. Then I'm going to say, then I'm going to say, suggest 60 keywords for my channel so youtube allows you to upload 500 keywords so i will be using these 60 keywords that uh ai generated for me on mine all right so i'm done with this i've edited it i've removed the number and i've separated with it with commas so i'm just going to copy all this copy it and add back to my youtube studio then under the place where it said the keywords i'm going to paste it inside so as i as soon as i tap on next it said my keywords has exceeded the number it only allows 500 keywords look at it right here so i'm going to delete some i'm going to delete some like all right, so I have been able to reduce it to 500 words. Now the next thing is to tap on save. So after tapping on save, you are going to see a message at the downside of your screen that your settings have been saved. Now next thing, let's tap on the 
settings button again at the same place then come and tap on channel again then you can see our keyword is there this is so that when youtube want to recommend video or when people go to youtube and search for animals your channel will be one of those that is going to pop out or when anybody search for any of these keywords your channel will pop out then come under advanced setting and don't Put your channel to know this channel is not made for kids if it is not made for kids. And you can also put it in, I want to review these settings for every video. So um, as soon as you do that, then come down here and look at automatic caption. Scroll down, you see automatic start caption. Don't show appropriate uh, don't show potential inappropriate words check on it and then you are going to uh, uh, youtube is going to make sure that when people are saying inappropriate words in the comment section it will not show then this then you will say allow videos to clip my content leave it checked then you come to future lgbt that's the next one right here look at it here's where we are coming from basic info advanced setting and future eligibility then another future eligibility leave these standard features at enabled then intermediate feature then when you tap on this this thing and you tap on the icon right here is you are going to see verify phone number so just input your phone number and they will verify you and if it did not verify then just leave it at the moment leave it like that when you're uploading your video when you want to upload videos longer than 15 minutes it is going to ask you to verify your identity then use face verification use face verification so that is much better my two channels which my phone number didn't work for i use my face to verify myself then advanced feature just leave it at the eligible right here you see valid id and all that so just tap on save and as soon as you are done with that you are halfway done with customizing your youtube channel so come and tap on settings again and the next thing come under upload default so under upload default you, are, you can add a disc a title that will be default in all your video but no we are creating videos on different topics so we are going to leave it at that then your description that you want to be included in all your videos so you can decide to put connect with me on whatsapp follow me on facebook follow me on this follow me on that in this box and when you put it there the visibility leave it at public then you save it so i'm not going to be putting anything in this channel because it is a faceless channel and at the moment i don't want to put anything there so i'll leave it then the next one the advanced settings allow automatic chapters blah 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 and all that then see the comments leave the comments on then show how many viewers like this video then you save so once you save come down to the settings again and let's go over to the next one which is the up, uh, permission look at it here the third one which is permission then tap on permission Tap on permission and here is where you can invite other people to join your YouTube channel as an admin. So other big, big YouTubers don't manage their account themselves. They have people that manage it for them. But it is not advisable to ask people to manage your account for you. Because as for me, I cannot give someone my email to ask, for them to ask me to manage their email, uh, their account unless I don't have a, a channel on that email. Because if anything happens to the channel or the channel has an issue, any other channel connected to that email will automatically have the same issue too. So it's better to just use a new email that doesn't have anything to do with channel or that you don't have a channel on and invite it to be your second admin. So this is where we'll stop in this customizing video. And the next thing here is, if you look at this left hand side here, you are going to see some options. The last one here, which is the music icon when you zoom in it is the youtube channel um the youtube audio library it is advisable to get all your music here because it will not give you any copyright issue so once you come here you are going to see so many music can you see so many music that you can download from so and if you want to search a particular one you can see sound effects here too you can see start the one you start so if i want to search for a particular music i'll just tap on this search button right here look at it this line i drew the red i'm just going to type in what i want let's say i want calm i'm just going to search for calm and it's going to bring in different music that are uh, a uh, that includes calm so you can just tap the play icon here to hear what to hear the sound of 
So I hope you heard that. But if you don't, then maybe it's because I'm recording. So once you, once it's like that, just press down on it. Anyone you like, press down on it, and you will see download pop up. Download will pop up right here. Then you tap on download, and it is going to save to your gallery and you can use this audio on your videos for youtube and you will not have any copyright issue no copyright issue so here is where we'll stop on how to customize and optimize your channel for success and i'll see you in the next